Hello, my name is Dr. Nish Sonwalkar. As you know, we have been doing these live events uh, about adaptive learning, and I'm very excited today to introduce you one of the very new and revolutionary technology of brain wave adaptive learning. So as you can see, this is the headband that is connected to my brain, and while I'm talking to you, we are also recording my brain waves. So you can see my brain waves there, and this shows you three waves. One is two are for the left brain, two are for the right brain, and also the combination of all four channels. So this is four channel electroencephalogram, which is connected to my head, and it is providing you information about my brain waves as I am talking to you. So let me take you through why brain wave and how does brain wave adaptive learning works. So in my previous talks with you, I've talked about adaptive learning. So let's begin with that. So we are talking about adaptive learning because we want to individualize learning process. As you know, one size fits all does not work. That's why we have come up with this idea, as you can see here, is that we have a process where we have five distinct learning strategy. We rotate you through that, and we are able to find by statistical inference first how you uh, 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 learn best. And for that, we have very strong and patented technology with the pedagogical framework. And in this pedagogical framework, what you can see, we very different media types, text, audio, graphics, video, animation, simulation. We also vary interactivity of different kind. And also we have five distinct learning strategies which are developed by us, that's our innovation, with apprentice learning, incidental learning, inductive learning, deductive learning, and discovery. Now, if you look at these different learning strategies, we are able to present you content, number one, with step by step, then with the case study, then we are doing examples, then we are doing interactive exercises, and then even game-based learning. So the same content you can learn the way you learn best, and we are able to do that by doing some assessments that we do. As you are clicking through our system, we do a lot of analytics, big data analytics on your clickstream data. And that clickstream data gives us a lot of information about how you learn. We know what uh, time you have spent on the task, what learning strategy you are using, what content you have used, and what is the learning strategy correlated with you. However, all this process, as you can see here, we are looking at uh, time you spent, pages you looked at, learning strategies that you used, and the test scores that you got based on this long data, about 60 to 70 hours of data, we can then figure out by statistical mean what is the best learning strategy for you. So that's our process. But we realized that this really takes a long time. So we said, what is the innovation we can use now so that we can figure out what's happening in your brain? So that's where we started looking and doing research. Uh, I conducted research in various uh, fields at MIT. And then we said, let's bring that brain uh, wave and brain computer interface technology into the into the mainstream. So in this case, we have a course where uses a trajectory which is coming from the big data analytics, but why not use the brain? So now we said, okay, how do we use the brain? So we go right into the brain and how it works. And one of the great things about brain is that we are able to look at the neurons that are interacting with each other. And those neurons, if you look at uh, are passing electrical signal, electrochemical signal, between them through the synaptic cleft, what we call connection between the two neurons, which is called synaptic cleft. So these synaptic uh, network passes electrical current at the time which is called long-term potential. When you learn something new, then those neurons get connected together, and they form what is called LTP, and that's where neurons start firing when you are trying to do a new task or if you are trying to learn physics. You understood the Newton's laws, now you really understand how does these neurons are working in. But when they do this chattering between or connecting between neurons, they create waves. And those are called brain waves. And this is where we are going now into the brain wave connection, which is called brain computer interface. But going back to our pedagogical model, we are also using that to make sure that we are using multiple media to increase the electrical signals and neurons. We are also doing models, different learning strategies to make more synaptic connections. We are also creating an iterative process of going through different content by creating synaptic network. And then we are also enhancing your network by social interaction. 
So we said, let's go through completely brain wave adaptive learning while we also understand. The good news here is that over the number of years, last 10 years, there has been a lot of uh, now development in the brain computer interface. These are some examples. They are using brain computer interface for communication by thought. And you can do that by controlling uh, prosthetics. You can do in gaming. You can also do controlling mechanical mechatronic devices. And also for student, people who are paraplegic, they can now interact with the brain wave with electroencephalogram signals. We said, why not we use that for education? And these are the waves that are created by the chatter of the neurons. And these neurons are number one. We start with the delta phase when you are in deep sleep. As you wake up in the morning, you go into theta sleep, which is between the sleep and awakened state. When you are into the alpha, you are in a relaxed, calm state. You are just getting your coffee and you are just getting ready for the day. When you get into the day in the rustle dizzle of that, you are in the beta. So this is where how it works. But what we are now trying to see is that when you are focusing or you are paying attention to something, what happens to your brain state? And that's what we call attention state. So with EEG, we are able to figure out what is your best attention state. And then we show you five different ways of learning, which I talked about earlier. Apprentice learning, incidental learning, inductive learning, and deductive learning, and discovery. And then figure out which one is resonating with your brain waves. So that's our major uh, development here. And for that, we use EEG headband, which are available. And we are working with a Canadian company, which is partnering with us for this kind of headband and these headbands have four channels and if you look at there are two reference channels one in the front and there are two in the back of the ear so now with that we are using what is called QEEG quantitative electroencephalogram we get all the brainwave digital data and then we are able to put a student so this is our uh, setup a student where is the, there's the headband we show him uh, difficult concept in physics and we rotate him through the five different learning strategy. Then we figure out which one is resonating best with the attention state. And we are able to find what learning strategy will work for you. Not in 60 hours, not in 30 hours, not in 10 hours, but in one hour. So we have gone from 60 hours time that the big data analytics and machine learning takes into brainwave idea where we only take less than one hour to figure that out. And that's a major breakthrough in the learning technology. So here are some students that we used at uh, University of Massachusetts, Boston. We conducted a study on about 35 students. And what we figured out is that whether this alpha, beta, and gamma wave do they correlate with the learning strategy and for identifying what is the best learning strategy for you to learn a new subject. So for that, we came up with the idea that uh, we can measure all these brain waves, which are being measured as you are studying. And we are looking at different bandwidths, which is alpha being the wave, being the low bandwidth. Or uh, we are going from 7.5 to 13 hertz. In beta, we are going from 14 to about 25 hertz. And then in gamma, we are going above 25. So we can see your states. And then we can also look at within that brain wave, what is your neurorhythm? So when we look at the neurorhythm, we look at the test when you take a test, and that's where we create the attention state, because you're paying a lot of attention to that test. And then we compare that with our two sessions of alpha, beta, and gamma for all five learning strategies. Apprentice, incidental, inductive, deductive, and discovery. With that, now we can figure out what is your best learning strategy. So now we combine these ideas. A student goes through this process, we look at their brain wave, and voila, we can tell you in one hour, you are an inductive learner. So with this, now we have taken mystery out of the whole learning process. We are able to now figure out what really works for you. And when we conducted this study with about a sample size of 35 students, we found that alpha is highly correlated, about 70-80% correlated with figuring out what is your best learning strategy. So let's go back into what we have developed here. So if you can see, the setup is very simple. We have a headband that you can purchase from us. So in this case, this is our product, and that gives you the headband. With that, you can use your iPad or your iPhone. Now this is connected with the iPad, and now you can see that my data is being collected here, and then you can see the results that are coming up in the real time. With that, now we can 
conduct the brain wave adaptive learning in a very quick way and revolutionize this whole STEM learning process. And so what we are doing now, the personalization that we did painstakingly with adaptive learning, now with the brain wave, it has become a completely enhanced system which can give you result, not only in learning, but in many areas of your life. When you are in a situation where you want to know which learning strategy will work for you, for learning anything new, you can use this device, you can own this device, and you can work with us where we will provide the analytical database. So now you can go to our website, www.inteladapt.com forward slash products, and also how it works. When you go to those pages, you can get connected with us. Please do contact us right away at info at inteladapt.com. We'll be happy to work with you and your school system or even your corporate world where you want to do employee training and train them in a very short amount of time. So welcome to this world of brain-computer interface, and we'll connect with you very soon and look at your brain waves. Thank you very much.